What is going on, guys? So, now that Season 3 is officially wrapped, I can now give you guys my full Season 3 review. Overall, while I will say that this season is better than Season 2, overall, it still had some problems. But, but, but let's get into the positives, right? The positives of Chucky Season 3. I liked the idea of him being in the White House. I thought that all of the kills in Season 3 were fantastic. Like the one where he kills, you know, um, uh, the president, Prelin, um, uh, where he, you know, rips his eyeball off. Or the, or the chandelier kill we got in Episode 4. Or the, well, just, there were just so many kills. Like, seriously, whoever did the gore and the kill effects on Season 3, they, they did a damn good job, so props out to the kills this season, for sure. I liked the idea of, you know, him being in the White House and, you know, having, you know, interacting with this, you know, new family, right? I liked that idea. Um, I liked, um, like, you know, to where, um, you know, the president, they lost their son, you know, Joseph, and now Chucky pretty much poses as you know, that, you know, um, dead relative that they lost, and, you know, Henry keeps on calling him, you know, Joseph, and I thought that was, yeah, you know, a little odd at first, but I was like, okay, now it makes sense, and, um, uh, and I liked the whole idea of him, of Chucky, you know, finally facing, you know, mortality, you know, him facing, you know, death, him actually being scared about it, you know, and, like, freaking out, you know, and, like, because that's never anything we got, because we never got that in any other movies, I mean, yes, he has died, but, like, he's never really, you know, faced death, you know, like, faced his own, you know, you know, mortality, pretty much, as you could say, and so, yeah, I liked that, I, you know, the Dembala, you know, you know, and, and, like, just the visual of that, old, you know, looking Chucky, I thought was great and fantastic looking, and I thought that Lexi was by far definitely the best, you know, um, of the, as far as, because as far as Jake, Devin, and Lexi goes, they did a really good job on, you know, turning us around, you know, on Lexi, you know, she's trying to find where her sister is, she's trying to, like, you know, like her that little relationship that they had that they, that she had with the president's first son, uh, Grant. I thought that was really cool and interesting. Um, now moving on to the mixed. The thing that I mixed on is that yes, I always appreciate him doing Don Mancini doing new stuff to not keep it. You know, you know not you know, fresh and new, I always appreciate that, always, and I will always value that, then going back to the whole, you know, you know, tried and two formula of, you know, Chucky needs a kid to take over, you know, take over their body, but like, so yeah, I always like the fact that he always keeps the franchise fresh, but like, it's not really like, you know, like, I don't know, maybe I'm just an old school fan that prefers the dark, scary Chucky, and just, I just wish that he would, you know, get back to that. And now, moving on to the negatives, because yes, the season isn't perfect or anything. See, what they did with Jake and Devin was pretty, and don't twist my words around or anything, but all... The only thing that they did with Jake and Devin is that he lets make out and um like this like the entire damn season that was their like whole like personality like pretty much like like they make out and like their teacher you know Miss Fairchild comes in or like you know they, or like or like in episode five where where they where we literally cut to them like making out and like and like a dang old tell him and I'm like Don Mancini we fucking get it already dude they're gay stop <sighs> now the ghost stuff 
the ghost stuff, I, again, appreciate bringing new stuff into the franchise. Always appreciate it. But this whole ghost thing, paranormal, su fully on supernatural stuff, like, that has never been a part of the franchise. Like, at all. So when, like, you get these, like, ghosts that are trying to, like, warn everybody about Chucky, or when you get Chucky's ghost himself, you know, Charles Lee Ray's ghost, it, like, and, well, yes, it is, you know, great to fit in. You know, again, Brad Dorf does a great job voice-wise as well as the little bit that we saw of him physically, you know, as a ghost. I thought that that was cool. But, like, ghosts, uh, and then you get the whole dang spirit world thing at the end. And I thought that was pretty stupid and dumb. Um, Again, new ideas that I appreciate. I appreciate the fact that he always keeps the franchise new and fresh. But, like... Ghosts have never been a part of the franchise, like, at all. It's like you're watching Chucky, and then all of a sudden you stepped, in, you stepped into a dang new Conjuring or a new Insidious movie or something. Like, no. And then you had the thing with, you know, Chucky possessing Jake at the end. And I liked um, Zachary Arthur's, you know, you know, impression of Chucky. I liked that. You know, you know, Jake doing the laugh and him, you know, killing that one guy, you know, by pretty much punching him to death. I thought that that was cool. And like, and like the whole thing, you know, and like, um, uh, but they undo it. They undo that. Like, the, at the end, when you finally meet the good guy creator, and you get, and we finally catch back up, you know, with Caroline, um, they they undo that at the end. Like, where the hell is the stakes anymore? Where's the tension? Where's the, like, oh shit, these characters are fucked. Like, where's that? Like, seriously, like, like, where is the dang tension at anymore in this franchise? Like, again, he just, it's like he just tears up the rules and now he can just do whatever he wants. Like, like no. And then you get that stupid fucking ending with the stupid fucking marionette things at the end where Jake, Devin, and Lexi are all turned into dolls now. Like, that was so stupid. And then you didn't have Andy or Kyle. Now, Nika was in the season. She was you know, here and there, but like, um, uh, but like, why, but I'm like, um, uh, but like, um, I don't get, but now this, I get that, but like, um, but I'm like, but I'm like, at this point, can we just, you know, because Fiona Dorf has nothing really to do in the franchise anymore. She just has nothing to do. And while, yes, it is cool that we finally get both Chucky and Tiffany back in their doll bodies again at the end of the season, their relationship, yes, I understand that their relationship has been, you know, toxic, you know, they love each other and then they hate each other. They love each other and then they hate each other. Now, yes, I get that. But, like, it's to the point where to now, it's like, it's just, it's just, okay, can we just stop doing this? Can you just commit to one side or the other? Either they love each other or they want to kill each other. Just commit. Like, last season, like, like last season, the end of season two, they were trying to kill each other. And now you get to end, the end of this season and they're making out. In, in the dang back seat of a car, like, 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 who, like, which side are you on? Either they want to kill each other or they hate each other. Just like, <laughs> fucking hell, man. <sighs> Overall, guys, while I did enjoy season three, it was, it was, you know, really good. It, it was still enjoyable. It's still not the Chucky that I want because the Chucky that I want is the scary, the scary Chucky that Chuck, the Chucky don't, 
the Chucky that does not give a damn about anything or anyone, and he's just gonna, you know, kill, you know, anything that gets in his way and all that stuff. Like, I prefer the dark, scary Chucky that we had in the first three movies, um, Bride. Now, yes, Bride had some comedy, but so, but it wasn't stupid, co stupid comedy like Seed was. Bride still had its scary moments. The first three movies, Bride and Curse. That is my Chucky. Like, I just want to go back to basics. Can we just go back to basics, please, Don Mancini, where it's just Chucky in a house trying to, you know, pick off this family one by one and, and you know, like, like, just go back to basics, please, Don Mancini. That's all we ask you to do. That's all we want you to do. Like, but overall, guys, I still did enjoy season three. I'm, I'm still going to keep doing this. I'm still going to, you know, do more videos, you know. Um, uh, so, yeah, stay tuned for my review of a potential. I don't know if we're going to get a season four or not. I, I, I do think that we might get the new movie. Uh, that, that we're probably going to get the new movie maybe sometime in 2026 or whatever, 2027 maybe. Um, so, whatever the future of the franchise holds, of course, I'll be here to cover it. I just wish that Don Mancini would go back to basics. Dark, scary Chucky again, please. Please. Please, Don Mancini, please. It's like he doesn't listen to the fans when we say, we want dark, scary Chucky. Oh, you want silly Chucky? No! Guys, it's just, I'm so passionate about this franchise that whenever I see stuff that I don't like, of course I'm got, I am gotta address it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And as always, guys, don't forget to keep on slashing. Just please, Don Mancini, go back to the scary badass Chucky again, please.